You can edit fusion clips exactly the same way you can edit any other clip in the edit page, but sometimes you have to adjust the timing of your keyframes. So I quickly show you what you can safely do, what can go wrong and how you can quickly fix it if that happens to you. Starting from a text plus title, I have created this super simple animation here. And in this case, let's say I do some editing. So I can definitely safely move things around. I can also cut in principle. Now I have the animation two times. That's all fine. If I trim, then of course my animation might end prematurely. Uh, if I extend, then I extend to somewhere where I might not have anything. Let me move this around. So here there's just nothing and if I trim from the other side then suddenly I have lost my entire animation. Okay, so it will hopefully never be that bad, but let's say it is. In this case I can still head over to Fusion and find everything again. And in Fusion the fastest way to figure out what's going on is the keyframe editor. So I click on the keyframe editor, click directly here on zoom to fit, which shows me everything that's going on in this, in this comp. And you see now that there are keyframes that are happening before the current render range. So when I first created the composition, it starts with frame zero, but now I have edited some things and the frames here uh, basically match the time code from the edit page, just counting frames instead. And now it starts from frame 114 here and my entire animation is happening before. The white ticks here are the keyframes. In the keyframe editor, I can click here to filter and select animated to make sure that I only see the animated tools if you have a lot it's easier to be oriented and then you can just select all of them and move them around all at once. Now in this case I have shortened it so the animation now is visible again but it ends too late so if I want to keep the duration of the intro and outro I could just select the keyframes at the end and move them in or if I want to condense the entire animation I might also select all of them and click down here on this stretch symbol time stretch and this gives you a box around all the keyframes and then you can stretch all the keyframes and can uh, thereby accelerate the animation or make it slower or you can even invert it if you really wanted to. Now I don't want that but I just want to make sure it matches the ending here and this way I have fixed the problem and shortened the animation to the super short clip now. In case of compositing, moving around keyframes is usually not helpful. So here I have a compositing example where I've done a sky replacement. The sky is tracked to the foreground. Now let's see, I am rolling things around a bit. Let's see, I move the clip like this, slide it around. And in this case, I am, the sky will no longer match because the tracking data is somewhere else. In this case, I can do the same. I can go into the keyframe editor, uh, find the, the place where the animation is, in this case the tracking. Uh, however, I shouldn't just move this around because the frames are different, the content is different, so I can't just move things around. I will instead have to track again something here. I do find the tracker, I can select it, you see it in the inspector directly from the keyframe editor. You can uh, change tools if you want to. So just select the tracker in this case and then I will go to the beginning of the render range here with this button, go to the beginning, select a new tracking point probably see what works, maybe the trees here, and track again. And I have the tracking data now for the new frames, and if nothing else is changing with the content of the frame, then this should work again. All right. Generally, I like to explain things in detail. That's why most of my training courses and tutorials tend to be relatively long. However, every now and then I receive a short question which I can answer quickly. And if that's the case, I might make a video such as this one. So feel free to keep sending your questions or post them underneath this video. Thanks.